This is a channel where I share my opinion about health, fitness, and weight loss. If you can't handle that, please get the book off this channel and find one that only has dancing unicorns and rainbows. All right, it's time to take my baby for a spin. Isn't it fixed? Take the little banana mobile for a spin. This is my giant bike, as a lot of you have seen already. And I've got special, something special on it, haven't I now, Harley? Uh, on the giant bike? How many? And this um, chain ring or something? Yeah. Cassette? 32 cassette. 32 cassette, folks. Get better on climbs. Whatever that means, better on climbs, so we like that. Good morning, fruit bats. It's the most amazing time of the day. Breakfast. And we have chopped raspberry drops. We've got some dates. These aren't medjool dates. These are Bari dates. And I'm going to put a whole lot of water and coconut sugar and blend it up. It's going to be very, very fabulous. And these are the beautiful dates. These are very good. Like they're a little bit, they're not as fresh as they could be anymore, but they're still mega tasty. And the water, I've got about 1.7 litres, quarts of water. So a lot of water. You can get in a lot of your hydration through your smoothie. Um, you don't have to, you, know, I mean, you can count that as part of your water intake for sure. And we've got coconut sugar here. Time to blend. So I ended up putting coconut drops, coconut drops in instead. And oh boy, it is amazing. Mm, it's very, very coconutty. It's like a coconut dream. Try it. All right, let's pour it in. Hopefully I can hold the camera and focus. Get it all in the jug. <laughs> oh, that little devil. You little devil. I love how the magpie just moves like magpie knows five what's meters. Magpie knows what's up. What pants are you wearing, Free Lala? Free Lala is wearing her dragon pants. Dragon pants, dragon girl. Oh Spit yeah. It. All right, we've got it here. That's right. About I cockroaches. have got some cockroaches for lunch. Okay. Aren't they amazing? These are medjool dates, organic. They're not organic. Oh no, they're not organic. But they're, no, quite, they're, spray, they're close enough. They're spray free. They're not sprayed once. So that's yeah, we do usually get organic meds also. But you can't get Australian organic, so we have no. to get the next best route. That's right. So that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have about 400 grams. Mm -hmm. How do you eat them? Blend them up, baby. Blend, Blend them. them. Coconut sugar, vanilla drops, maybe mm -hmm. peppermint drops. Any drops that you like, you've got to drop them in because it tastes so good. Okay, interesting. And what are you doing? Just filming you. Get your little mitts out of there. Alrighty, we have the second smoothie, which is actually the same as the first one. And I just really love the flavor. And some of you might be like, oh my God, dates again. She's having dates again. Well, you know what? If you were in South Australia in the middle of winter with the fruit availability here, you would understand because there's not a lot else to eat. And I'm raw till four, so I'm having fruit during the day. And if that means dates, then I'm all for it because I do love dates. And you know, data rate, it lasts a long time. So I really recommend it if you, you know, before you go to work, that you blend up a big data rate, you take it to work, and before you drink it each time, just give it a good shake. Because it really lasts hours and hours, and it will be fresh when you go to it. Okay, time to drink up this beautiful date milk. Ooh. Hey, fruit bats, we're on the way to Princess Neats, and I'm on the highway. Oh my God, someone's running my ass. I'm going as fast as I can in this van. It's not a race car. And there they go. God. Relax, relax. It's okay. Let's get there alive, shall we? Anyway, so I was thinking about this photo that I got sent by someone and they were asking me my opinion on it. So I'm just going to show you the photo now. Check out this photo. Okay, so here's the picture. And before you say, oh, you shouldn't be showing this picture, you know, that's not fair. This is actually just a photo from a public supermarket. So the dietitian chose to put her face to this product. And no, this is not fake. And this photo was actually removed from Facebook and I was temporarily blocked from posting. And I complained about it. And I'm like, hey, you know, this is in supermarkets in a public domain. And they obviously saw the sense in it and they put it back up. 
Okay, so as you can see, there's a picture of an overweight dietitian recommending chocolate. And I'm not sure exactly what chocolate she's recommending. Some of you might be like, oh, it's a healthier version of chocolate. To me, it looks like she's recommending Twix. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter because we have a dietitian here who's a health professional recommending junk food, supermarket junk food, and that is just not okay. How do I feel about that? I, don't, I think it's crazy. I think it's ludicrous. I think it needs to stop. It's irresponsible. I mean, like, we have over 70% of the population overweight, and a large percentage is obese. There is so much disease flying around because people are eating crappy diets. I mean, over 17 million people check off the planet from preventable disease every year due to their poor diet. And then we have a health professional who people trust, they put their trust in for, you know, sound dietary advice, recommending junk food. And unfortunately, you know, these big businesses, a big industry like the dairy industry or the chocolate industry, meat industry, they get in these dietitians and nutritionists ear and they're like, hey, endorse this product and we'll give you a kickback. So you cannot trust them at the end of the day. And if someone's overweight, if a health professional is overweight, like clearly by a long shot overweight, then you'd have to question their recommendations. They obviously do not know what they're talking about or else they would be slim, fit and lean. Remember, these are people we need to hold to a higher standard. They're the ones who put themselves out there as health professionals. So obviously we're going to have to you know, question them when they're not looking the part because they're meant to be the healthy ones. They're meant to be the, the lean ones, the, the examples for us to look up to. And this isn't about hating on this woman at all. I don't know her. It's not about her personality. It's not about, you know, bullying her or fat shaming her or anything like that. So step off if you think that. That's just ridiculous. This is about making a clear observation. This is about holding the health professionals to a higher standard. Because, you know, just having an accreditation, having a piece of paper, you know, having some sort of like being a white coat, being a doctor, whatever, does not automatically mean you know what you're talking about. Clearly, in this case, it does not mean that at all. You know, if she did actually know what she was talking about, then she would be, you know, following her recommendations, getting great results and helping the rest of the population do the same. But unfortunately, these nutritionists and dietitians are contributing to the planet getting fatter and fatter and fatter because they give these unrealistic recommendations like restricted calories you know you can still eat meat and dairy just eat it in moderation but you know what that's what's making people fat because they try and follow these recommendations and they're unrealistic no one can follow them so people are getting fatter and sicker all over the place and it breaks my heart because you know you just you see so many people suffering. So many people suffering and you know the... Okay, so my camera just turned off because I'm almost out of storage. So I better make this quick. So at the end of the day, listen to the people getting the results that you desire. If you desire to be fit, healthy, lean, thriving, then you look to the people who are achieving that long term and you follow what they recommend. Sure, you can follow the people with all the credentials in the world, but if it, they're not getting the results you desire, then why do you want to follow them? It just does not make sense. I mean, they can have all the paper in the world, but theory is theory at the end of the day and practical results, what's in front of your face is what is really, really important. So take advice to people, get the results you desire. That is my message at the end of all this rant. Okay, I'm going inside to have some beautiful food with Princess Nate. See you soon. And what do you got here? Um, this is the sweet potato layered lasagna. Oh, that looks amazing. I had the oven on a little bit high. That's why the tomatoes got a little bit Fizzy. Fizzy. And look at this one. Oh, it looks like a little veggie soup, but it's creamy spiced oh, vegetable soup. That looks I've been so playing good. around with herbs and spices that I've never used before. Yep. Uh, well, we're, we're happy about that. <laughs> and this is phenomenal pumpkin. Very good. It's different it's to my other pumpkin corn one. No. Oh, yum. It's, it's so smooth. It's got time in it. Yeah. yeah. It's so smooth. Yeah. It's time for phenomenal pumpkin. Is that time of night? <laughs> yes, you don't want to be the sound of attention, don't you? Oh, maybe you two can swap, but like, don't forget to go. Okay, <laughs> it's oh. your turn. Go freak yourself. No, no, no. Get, get into oh. it. Don't forget to go. Freak yourself. Oh, okay. Oh, freak yourself. Oh, you have to do the <laughs> movements. Oh, freak yourself. Freak yourself. <laughs> oh, that's great. There you go.
go. That's the Aussie way. <laughs> Good night, YouTube. Good night. <laughs> See you tomorrow for another episode. Thumbs up for healthy, fit, lean role models in society with dietary recommendations that won't leave you fat, sick, and dead.